Every day, we as citizens of a developed country are able to live happy, healthy lives. However, most of us don't fully appreciate the privileges that allow us to maintain this quality of life. I remember when I first noticed this scar. I was confused and wondered why I had this indentation in my arm. Now I realize that I have something a lot of people in this world don't have. It comes from a smallpox immunization I received when I was living in China as a little girl. The smallpox vaccine was actually the very first successful vaccine. And it protects people like me from a fatal disease that has been almost completely eradicated for over 30 years. While we've made great strides in this field, every year there are 26 million children who are not immunized and 2.1 million people die from vaccine preventable diseases. It's a struggle to provide vaccines to those who live in hard to reach places around the world. This is because of the way that vaccines are currently stored and transported. They're distributed through a process called the cold chain which requires that these vaccines are maintained at a temperature between 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. The cold chain process requires refrigeration. However, many parts of the developing world have limited to no access to electricity, rendering them unable to effectively store and then administer these vaccines. Because of this, many vaccines are prone to spoil and waste. Natalie's technology enables the safe, inexpensive and efficient delivery of vaccines to anywhere in the world. My name is Ting Ting Zhou and I'm a junior here at Duke University. Along with Nancy Liu, a senior at UC Berkeley, and Crystal Lee, a junior at Stanford University, we are three undergraduates working to make a difference in this world. Our product is NanoShield, a chemical shield that protects vaccines for improved storage and transportation without the need for refrigeration. NanoShield is composed of a combination of nanoparticles and a hydrogel. We are modifying existing and patented hydrogel that will directly encapsulate the vaccine in its liquid vial. Our ultimate goal is to protect the vaccine for up to temperatures of 100 degrees Fahrenheit and for up to 30 days. Our research so far has shown promise. We've been able to create a polymer that can encapsulate smaller particles like RNA, and now we're working on larger particles like proteins. Our funding will go towards conducting this kind of research. We have envisioned a way that our product can be used by a potential customer. Dr. Jane must take a two-day hiking trip from her health clinic to a rural village in Chad to administer 30 vaccines. Before she heads out, she takes the tetanus vaccine and inserts it directly into liquid vials pre-filled with nanoshield. Then she's able to place these vials into portable container inside her backpack, and then she's able to start her hike. When she arrives at the clinic and her first patient sits down, Dr. Jane turns on the battery-operated nanoshield UV light. She's able to shine this onto the syringe for 15 seconds and then can safely administer the vaccine directly to the patient. When Dr. Jane leaves and heads back to her clinic, she realizes that she has a few extra vaccine doses left. Because they've been insulated by NanoShield, she's able to store them for future use. Our solution abolishes the funding gap by eliminating the need for expensive refrigerators. Our solution also reduces wastage rates by mitigating the problems associated with vaccine spoilage. We are partnering with several key organizations and people to help our product go from research to commercialization. We have reached out to academic professors, such as those specializing in immunology, and we are also developing relationships with startup lawyers, consultants, and those specializing in the pharmaceutical life science industry. At the same time, we have also made initial contact with members of the World Health Organization, UNICEF, and PATH. Now, when I look at the vaccine scar mark on my left arm, it's not just a reminder of how lucky I am, but also serves as our motivation to bring vaccines to the places that need them the most. We invite you to be part of our global change. Using a nano-sized solution to solve a macro-sized problem, we are Nanalee.